this Miss Bonnie. Welcome to my story time. Today I have one of my favorite books. I know you like it too. I think you like it too. This book isn't mine though. I borrowed it from a very special friend that I don't know. Her name is Twilight Sparkle. Well, she likes to be called that. So thank you to Twilight Sar Sparkle her real name is Sophia. Thank you very, very much for letting me borrow your book. Ta-da! The Pigeon! This is one of my favorites. This is written and illustrated by Mo Willems. And it's called Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late. Let's not let him stay up late, okay? Let's see. Good, it's you, listen. It's getting late and I need to brush my teeth. Can you do me a favor? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Thanks. First of all, I'm not even tired. In fact, I'm in the mood for a hot dog party. What do you say? Can we have a hot dog party? No, it's bedtime, pigeon. No? <laughs> I hear there's a good show about birds on TV tonight. Should we, should be very educational. Can we let him watch TV? No, it's bedtime. How about five more minutes? Come on, what's five minutes in the grand scheme of things? Should we let him? Oh, what, what, what? Did you see it? I'm not tired! You know, we never get to talk anymore. Tell me about your day. Go to bed, pigeon. Oh, I've got a great idea. We could count the stars. Can I, have, can I have a glass of water? Studies show that pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. It's the middle of the day in China. I'll go to bed early tomorrow night instead. Hey, ho, hey, hey, ho, ho. This, pi this here pigeon just won't go, please. My bunny wants to stay up too. You can't say no to a bunny, can you? No, go to bed, pigeon. Does he look tired? I think he just, okay, okay. That was not a yawn. I was stretching. I'm 110% awake. You haven't heard the oh, last of me. Look at his face, he looks so tired. Oh, he's snoring. Great work, thanks. Good night. Look, he's dreaming of a hot dog. The end. Oh, Pigeon is one of my favorites. And you know what? My friend, Twilight Sparkle, let me borrow more books like that. This one is called Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Do you like it? It's also by Mo Willems. And it's also the pigeon. Let's see. Let's do that one too. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while. So can you watch things for me until I get back? Can you help? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. 
There she goes. Look who's peeking over here. I thought he'd never leave. He's just waiting for Hey, can I drive the bus? No. Please. I'll be careful. No, Mr. Pigeon. I'll tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives the bus almost every day. Mm -mm. True story. Look at his face. Are you gonna let him drive the bus? No, Mr. Pigeon. Brim, brim, brimmy, brim, brim. Pigeon out the wheel. No? No. I never get to do anything. Hey. I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. No pigeon. Come on, just once around the block. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? No fair. I bet your mom would let me. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. Fine. Let me drive the bus! Look at that! Oh, he's throwing a big fit. How does he look over here? He looks kind of mad, huh? Sometimes when we don't get to do something we want, we get a little bit mad. I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great, thanks a lot. Uh-oh, here he goes. Bye. He looks a little sad. Hey. What is he looking at now? Ooh, a big truck. Do you think we should let him drive that bus? That, that truck? Uh-uh. The end. Okay, I got one more pigeon book. Sophia, my friend. Twilight Sparkle. She let me borrow three of her books. This is the last one. This one is called The Pigeon Wants a Puppy. Do you have a puppy? I don't have a puppy. Maybe somebody will have a puppy. The Pigeon Wants a Puppy. Here he is. What's that? Do you see two pigeon? One puppy. He has a very long list of things he wants to do. He wants to drive a bus and eat a hot dog and stay up late. Oh, hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. By the way, do you know what I want? What does he want? What I've wanted forever, at least since last Tuesday. Oh, don't worry, I'll take care of it. I promise I'll water it once a month. Do puppies need to be watered once a month? What? Everybody knows that puppies need plenty of sunshine and water. Oh, I get it. You don't want me to be happy, do you? You don't want me to take a piggyback ride on my puppy or play tennis with it. You just don't understand. I'm a puppy loving pigeon. Oh, puppies. I want a puppy. 
puppy right here, right now. Look at that, he's throwing a fit again. Woof, <gasps> what's that? Woof, woof. Is it possible? Have my dreams come true? Woof. Ah. Uh, it's huge! The teeth, the hair, the wet nose, the slobber, the claws! I mentioned the teeth, right? Really, I had no idea. I've changed my mind. Look at that big puppy. Oh! I want a walrus. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, now he's dreaming of having a walrus. Is a walrus going to be small? I don't think so. Oh, that pigeon is kind of crazy. But very, very fun, isn't he? The end. I hope you enjoyed the pigeon books. I love them. I will say goodbye now for now. I will see you next time for another story time with me. Bye-bye.